everybody welcome to my channel today is going to be super exciting and kind of different today I'm going to be working on installing my rain barrel I'm so excited my city has a program through their green com uh, green committee I don't know what it's called anyway where they they were giving away uh, rain barrels you just have to install them send them pictures and we didn't get to do it when I first got it because Larry stroke but now I have the time to do it. I'm going to bring you along as I get the spot ready, move the, world, uh, the rain barrel over there, and get it all hooked up. So I want to show you the rain barrel first. It's just a big barrel. It's almost as tall as me, as you can see. The top has three holes in it, and it's covered with a netting, so there won't be any chance for mosquitoes to breathe. And what you do is you set it up, Cut it, your gutter, you hook this expandable gutter from your gutter on the house to here and it just sits like this and the water drains into here. Now, on the front, this is your emergency to full valve, your flood valve, and you keep a hose hooked up here so if the water ever gets here, it'll drain out and go into the yard. At the bottom, down here, is where you water where you hook your hose and you can turn it on and off to water your plants and everything you can you can also hang plants they have this thing that fits on the top and you can hang plants off of it I'm not gonna do that but it's so cool I'm so excited I wanted one of these for years they run about hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars from Lowe's or Home Depot but like I said I got it for free from a program through my city I just have to get the, get it hooked up and send them photos. Pumped. Now, this is not where it's going to be because this is the corner of the house with all the windows. And we just, you know, I thought it would be cool to put it here, but Larry didn't want it here, which is fine. So I'll take you over to the side of the house where it's actually perfect for it and show you where I'm going to set it up. Okay, so right here is actually where it's going to be set up. And if you notice on the ground, there are rocks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to level the rocks out and then use these bricks we've got to build a flat base to sit it on. And then I'll move it over here, set it on here, and we're going to hook it up to this gutter right here. So once we get it all hooked up, it's going to be perfect. And this corner is out of the way of any windows looking out on our view. I'm super excited. I can't wait. And I'll bring you along to film the different parts as I do them. So yeah. So I'll see you soon. Hey guys. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm building the platform for my rain barrel. So I'm just trying to make sure the bricks are as level as possible. Okay, now I've got the barrel on the platform. I'm going to check and make sure it's level. And it's pretty much level. Okay, so now the uh, barrel is level. I'm going to cut the gutter about right here and put the bendy part from here, bend it around, and it's going to sit basically like that. So when it rains, it goes into the barrel instead of into the ground. So, let's get started. And what we're going to do is we're going to hacksaw into the gutter. But Larry wants to help, but he doesn't want to be on camera, so I kind of have him. <laughs> no, what, where, just tell me where. So Larry and I just got that sawed off, and now this part kind of hooks on no, like no, no. Not the way. this part the bigger end obviously yeah it goes around hooks on outside. like this like that that way oh shop is hiding there and then this comes around like that beautiful You just have one screw. Like that. And it goes in there. And I can actually bring the rain barrel over one more. There. Perfect. 
So there it is. We actually got it all hooked up. It was really not that hard. The hardest part was sawing. All right. So you have to have a hose connected to the emergency if it gets too full thing. And they want the hose connected and they want it kind of like pointed out into your yard. So I bought this little hose. It doesn't have to be long. And I didn't want anybody tripping over it. So you just hook it up here like this. Oh, look at my cool gloves I got too. I joined the uh, Oceanside Environmental thing program and I got some cool gloves. I got a cool goodie pack. I also got some flowers, so I'll show you those in a minute because we're going to go film planting next. Okay. So this is the hose, it's hooked up. So if the water barrel gets to this level, that's too full and it'll drain out of this hose and out into our yard. So that is how you hook up a rain barrel, which is pretty cool. Thanks for being here with me today, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.